welcome back to my channel. My name is Sitel. I'm a former medical doctor who quit a job in pursuit of my passion for YouTube. In today's video, we're going to talk about something really interesting. I struggle with this a lot too, so let me help you how I help myself. We're going to talk about five different strategies that we can implement in our daily life so that we make our days more productive. Whether you're working from home, whether you work outside, whether you don't work at all, you're a stay-at-home mom. Sometimes we just need to have productive days so that we feel like we've achieved a lot where else you know there's just some days where we just don't feel like doing anything and then sometimes we, we make excuses for ourselves and go like that's all right we were tired blah 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 yada 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 and before you know it we've had months go by and we really haven't tackled the things that we want to tackle or we haven't really done the things that we wish we started so if you want to learn how to be more productive when you just really can't be bothered to then keep watching tip number one is use a one year rule now what a one year rule basically means you can use a six month rule a one month rule depending on the goals that you've set for yourself and what you're trying to really achieve but so i have like a one year rule right in one year from today what would i be upset about if i did not achieve that certain thing so for instance with my youtube channel one year from today i wish to have over a hundred thousand subscribers to in order to get there i've got so many things to do right i've got to make good content have to get my videos up there good editing and use nice softwares and blah 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 if i don't do this thing so one year from now i will be disappointed with myself for not pushing myself hard enough to reach that goal now no doubt in one year's time if i do not reach that goal i'm not going to beat myself for it if i had worked hard but if I had not worked hard and not put in the work that I said I would do, I would be disappointed in myself. So I always think about one year from now, how will I feel if I do not put in the work today? Tip number two is plan your days. I use Google Calendar. Google Calendar works really well for me. So every time I have an appointment to go to the gym or an appointment to see my friend or an appointment to buy a present for a kid whose birthday is coming up, something really simple, whatever small, however big, or you know, I need to buy milk, bread, whatever it is, no matter what my day entails, what I have to do in that day, or if I have to do laundry, I put it in Google Calendar so that when I start the day, I always open my calendar and see the things that I need to do that day. But I also make sure not to over well my day with too many tasks that I know I will not be able to finish which brings me to tip number three have a daily highlight so if today for instance it's a Friday and my daily highlight was to record two videos and edit one video so my daily highlight is this. now I've got other things that I want to get done as well but I only make sure that I record two videos today and I edit one I can record more if I have time sure I've got the other things listed out that I really want to get done done as well but I will only try to achieve or try to finish up what my daily highlight is the other things that I still need to get done in my list I will not try to push for it if I don't have time so therefore when you plan your day you don't get too overwhelmed with like all sorts of things back in the days I used to plan my day really full I used to over plan my days especially as a medical student when you're studying you always think that you can finish this many chapters in a day because when you start reading sometimes some chapters are shorter than the others and you think that you know I can read these things but then as you start reading and studying you feel a little you feel fatigued you feel tired you need to go out for a run and you come back whenever i over plan my days i find that i run behind schedule all the time so nowadays i don't over plan i have daily highlights of exactly what i want to achieve that day and then anything else that i have on my list to do things i can do it on that day if i have time therefore i won't feel burnt out and i can celebrate my wins do leave a comment below if you're one of those who tends to over plan your day with that let's move on to tip number four make a schedule for all your activities now I don't mean like every single activity like when I give myself time to record my videos I sometimes give myself an hour to record one video so whatever I have planned that day I tend to allocate more time than what I think I might need this is just so again I don't run behind schedules so I don't just sit down and go like okay today's daily highlight is I need to record two videos and edit one and then just keep you know going on and on and taking my time doing it for instance i've got this really bad habit every time i want to do the laundry fold the laundry i like folding the laundry while watching youtube videos and watching movies and things like that it allows me to relax but i usually don't time myself so when i don't time myself sometimes i can find that i'm folding the laundry for two hours sure i've 
achieved so much I've folded all the laundry everything looks nice and neat I can put it away but I've actually just spent two hours doing the laundry when I could have folded everything in half the time or maybe even one fourth of the time and spend the rest of the time playing with my children doing their homework with them or doing something else doing something else that's useful ever since then I started timing myself so even when it comes to doing the laundry I'm like right although it's not my priority but it still needs to get done sometimes I do run a bit like five or ten minutes give or take outside of the time that I've allocated myself but still I make sure I allocate a time to myself just so I'm not taking the entire day to do that one thing all right tip number five and the last tip is you need to find your mojo what's a mojo well you kind of need to watch the Austin Powers movie <laughs> to find out what's a mojo but really it's that something that will get you out of the slump now if you know what I mean it's that feeling when you're just in bed let's say you're in bed it's winters it's hard to get up at five o'clock in the morning to get anything done because it's so cold all you want to do is just lie down in bed and you make this excuse for yourself where I deserve to rest I deserve to sleep in a little bit more I just don't feel like doing it well, yesterday you were very sure you were gonna wake up early but you just you know when the time comes you just don't feel like doing it. you can come up with a million excuses because all of a sudden you just don't feel like going and you just don't want to go anymore period so what do you do to get yourself out of the slump how do you get yourself out of the slump and you need to find something that will work for you like a motivation or a speech or a phrase that works for you that will get you out of the slump for me what gets me out of the slump is just do it you know that nike swoosh sign just do it yeah so i just do it i hate doing it sometimes i hate doing let's say going to the gym but i just don't want to push myself i know i'll be there and struggling and my legs will hurt and my muscles will be breaking and my legs will feel like they're coming apart i just it comes a time when you just really don't want to do it i just tell myself sito you're gonna do this and you're gonna do it now just do it don't think about it it's like almost like you're ripping off a band-aid just do it it's just like tell yourself I'm not gonna think about it I'm not gonna think about what I'm putting myself through I'm just gonna do this mindlessly I know I'm all about being mindful and thinking about what you're doing when you're doing it but there comes a time when you really do not want to do it and your mind is saying all these things to talk you out of doing what you need to do that's when you tell yourself just do it or just slap yourself in the face and go I'm gonna do this and you will always thank yourself when you finally did it because the deed's done dude high five to yourself so I hope you found this video useful if you did learn anything new then do hit the like button below and also hit the subscribe button below or this little subscribe play button right here on the screen it will allow you to follow my channel so that you don't miss a channel every time I post a video I am going to be posting a video twice a week now to up my game for this YouTube thing and I do hope you press the bell notification button so that you also get notified every time I post a video because otherwise you might miss some of my videos but anyways, I will see you again in my next video. Thank you so much for stopping by.